Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. This week we are doing a love oracle card reading and so we are asking the question what is it that we need to know for this week or what is it that we need to know at this moment or for the next few weeks? Uh, what is the prevailing love energy at the moment and what can we benefit from this all? Um, is there something that we are not hearing or we're not able to see and uh is this is there something that I need to benefit from? And so this reading is for those of you who are asking this question in terms of love. And I do these oracle card readings on a weekly basis, as um, my my subscribers would know. And uh, this week it's just a focus on love. So we have three decks here, and uh, they are all oracle card decks. We we have the Heart Fairy Oracle here, and we have the Rumi Oracle here. And we have the uh, Romance Angel uh, Oracle cards here uh, by Doreen Virtue. And so they're a little bit different from each other this week. And in fact, they have all quite a different energy. So go ahead, take a moment uh, to think about what it is that you need to hear and um, feel which of these decks resonate with you. And then you may go down to the description box below where you'll find the timestamp to your reading. So I'm going to go ahead and begin uh, with the first deck here. So this is the first deck here. And the question is, what is it that those of you who've chosen the first option need to hear for, at this moment in terms of love? What is it that you need to hear in terms of love? And we have the card of the captive man. So the way in which I read this card here is there's somebody who is who you're interested in. Um, or it could be yourself as well in, in this context. It's not really clear that this is someone else. It could be yourself who is in this position, or it could be somebody outside of you, somebody that you're asking about who is in this position. And they are... They are actually in a state where they are caught up in their minds and they aren't able to release themselves. They aren't able to free themselves. So it's it doesn't have to do with love. It doesn't have to do with, uh, you know, whether there's commitment or a lack of commitment or loyalty or lack of loyalty. The person here is caught up in their own mind and they do not believe that they can move this thing forward or they do not believe that they can actually uh, find a solution to this problem. And so what this card is asking or what this message is for you for this week is that you need to recognize and accept, firstly, that you cannot influence the state of mind of another. And secondly, um, you need to accept that the state of mind of another is only going to change when that something shifts within that person or something um, is different for that person so that they may have uh, a new reality. They may invite a new reality into their lives. And that um, the third thing that this card is talking about is basically asking you, where is it that you are captive in your mind? Where is it that you are not allowing yourself to think beyond certain boundaries? Or where is it that you just see a particular situation in one given light and you are not able to address it from a different perspective? Because if you were to look at it from a different perspective, you would not only understand their perspective or another's perspective in this, but you would also understand that your perspective is limited and that there are many, many ways of looking at this particular situation. If you're single and you don't have someone in your life right now, this card is talking about how can you free yourself from thinking in a way that is not allowing love to come into your life. So where has it, uh, or where is it rather, that you've been selling yourself short uh, or shortchanging yourself? Where is it that you need to explore um uh, new avenues, new directions in terms of love? And how is it that you can free yourself in terms of um, inviting love into your life or allowing love to prevail in your life? Um, the other thing that um, this card speaks of to me 
is that it, it talks about a stage. It says that this is a stage at, in somebody's life, whether it be yours or your loved ones or uh, the person that you're asking about here or the person that you're asking advice about. Um, they're saying that this is a temporary state and temporary state may be anything from an hour to several years. But this too shall change. This too shall end. It will transform at some point. And they are saying that Look at ways in which you can actually transform yourself outside of this captive state, whether it's you that's captive, whether it's the relationship, whether it's someone that you're thinking about uh, who is in this captive state. Um, this can be transformed. And the trick to this is being able to transform it in terms of the energy um, using alchemy, uh, using manifestation, using visualization, um, using ritual, Explore avenues in which you can transform this given state, which is holding you back, and allow yourself to be open in ways that you may think you're already open, but um, but beyond. You know, allow yourself to be infinitely open, and and to be consumed with infinite love. Love doesn't have conditions, and it doesn't have expectations. It's simply a state of being. And that state of being, if you can realize that, will actually attract real love and real experience into your life as opposed to holding you captive in any given state. And so that's my message for those of you who've chosen this uh, first deck um, today. And now moving on uh, to the second deck, which is this deck here. It's the Rumi Oracle by Alana Fairchild. And we're asking... What is it that those of you who've chosen this deck need to hear about their love lives? What is it that those of you who've chosen this deck need to hear right now? What is their advice? And what is it that's relevant to them at this moment? Okay, so I think this is the card here. And we have passion for purpose. And it's the number the card number two. So there are a few things that come to my mind when I see this card. Uh, right now there are a few things that I'm feeling the first thing that flew to me was that if you actually continue with your own purpose your personal purpose your personal direction with what it is that your soul is asking you for or begging from you then you are on your path of love okay so this message is talking to me about you and your own love for your own passion and your own purpose and and how you are able to uh, to to follow your path energetically um, it's not really the right word um, it's as if you uh, need to be committed to your own path and to your own purpose and within that is the greatest love that you will ever find. And how this translates to the other, the loved one in your life, uh, or drawing a loved one into your life, is actually, it's somehow irrelevant. It shows me this picture of you um, carving your path, like opening your path, uh, like volcanic lava creating a path. And it's your given path. And it, it's flowing through a, a passion. And somebody by your side or your partner or companion is almost irrelevant for you at this moment because your your passion for your purpose is what will drive you and everything that aligns with that will be drawn to you and your partner or the person that you talk, you're thinking about the person that you love or you want to have in your life will be drawn to you automatically it this person cannot 
not be drawn to you. If you are so passionate and you're following your path with such a uh, commitment or such ambition and such um, deep loyalty, um, and it, with, I'm hearing all kinds of words like sincerity, integrity, authenticity. This is all what defines how you would go about following your path. And when you are in that vibration, when you're resonating with that, when it's exuding from you, from every cell of your being, when you know that you're living with this particular purpose, uh, all that belongs to you will be attracted to you. It will be like a magnet that clings to you and you won't need to ask anymore about love because you will know what love truly means. And this is the love here is a love that it kind of resonates with a, uh, a great sense of self-esteem. It resonates with a great sense of self. It resonates with, with a sense of self that is bonded to the universe and that's here in service to the universe. It has a purpose. And that is the level, the vibration that I'm getting. And it's almost like love, like romantic love, which is why I'm doing this reading. This, um, And this is the question that I'm asking about. I'm asking, what do you need to know in terms of romantic love? Um it's almost irrelevant because it's simply part of the course. It's like one of the pieces of the puzzle, but it's not an important piece. It's not the main piece. It's not a piece that completes you. It's simply one of the pieces of your puzzle. And that there are so many other pieces here that form you and that create you. And if you could just get into alignment with that which is your purpose... Uh, all else will fall away and only that which belongs to you will be drawn to you like a magnet and you won't be able to push it away if you wanted to and it would be right for you. Okay, so that's quite a, um, I'm sure that's quite a different message than, than the one that uh, Alana has meant for this card, but I'm channeling this to you and uh, that is my message for you for this week uh, for this card. Um, I feel that there's something more here as well for you. So give me a second and let me, um, let me just try and feel what that is. Okay, so I'm feeling here that uh, some of you who've actually chosen this option have not been in a vibration uh, which is completely aligned with you in terms of your work environment or your career or what your purpose is in this world. And I'm feeling that there's a little bit of confusion with regard to that. There are some decisions to be made and that with those decisions, you will actually come further. You will come further in a very strong manner and it will actually bring you to a new place in your world. And I'm hearing here that do not doubt what your instincts are telling you right now make the changes that are necessary for you to make in order for you to align yourself in order for you to work with passion and be on your path with um, a purpose and a passionate purpose at that and it may take time it may take months or years for you to be able to achieve this but it is the only worthwhile goal for you to work towards. And any darkness or any feeling of doubt or being in a, in a black hole or being lost is just something that you can shift. Uh, it's something that is, it shifts with the decision that you make. It shifts with a decision to see. It shifts with the understanding that you can change this and that you can actually move on from it and that as long as you're feeling um, dark or in some dark depths of your life uh, that is what you will be resonating with and this is what you'll be drawing into your world so when you're ready to make the decision to move on then follow that and move with it I'm also I'm smelling roses and like a pink rose 
and I'm I'm getting this vibration of roses and um, it's just a, a feeling of um, yeah of being within this flower. I feel like this this image here is of somebody who's who's within a flower and it's about blossoming blossoming within and it's about allowing this bud to waiting for the right moment to blossom and with being within a bud but just waiting for the right moment to come forth in your world and that is what this card is about as well okay so i hope that's resonated with you and i hope that helps you and thank you very much for coming by and choosing this option here i'm now going to move on to the last option which is Doreen Virtue's uh, Romance Angel cards here. And we are asking here, for those of you who have chosen this pile, what is it that those of you who have chosen this pile need to actually know at this moment? What is it that you need to know in terms of love? What is it that you've been missing? What is it that you... What is the missing block here? Or what is it that you need to hear at this moment? What is the reassurance? I'm hearing I should ask, what is the reassurance that you need right now? Okay, I feel it's this. Hang on. I'm just going to continue shuffling. I did feel like it was that card, but then I got a, 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 yeah, I got an impulse to shuffle again. There, it's this one. Okay, so it's forgiving and learning. Let me see if I can get that in a better angle for you. Sometimes I cannot see if the cards are skew or because of the angle at which I'm sitting and uh, the angle of the of the uh, camera. So forgive that. Um, so the card that we have here is forgiving and learning. And the caption reads, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And uh, so for me, this card is talking about moving beyond the pain. And I'm feeling that uh, there are some of you between two years and seven years, there's been pain, maybe even eight years, nine years for some of you. There's just been pain. Uh, there's been difficulties. Yeah, there are others of you I want to acknowledge who I in this for three years or four years. Uh, there was just a time frame that I was given. Uh, but it's been difficult and it's there's been pain and it hasn't been working out exactly the way you needed it to work out. And there hasn't been a resolution and there hasn't been a clear path forward and you haven't gotten what you actually wanted, whether you are in a relationship or whether you're hoping for a relationship. Uh, it has been less than optimal to say the least. And what I'm hearing here is that you've come to the end of an error and it's time to actually move on from all that which was pain and all that which was difficult and all that which is an energy and a vibration that doesn't allow you to live your dream. And because you're coming to the end of this era, you are being asked at this moment to forgive and to let go. And in this forgiveness, you have an understanding or the learning. There's this experience that you will have on a higher level or a knowing that you will have that is that which only comes to you when you have forgiven. And it's a sense of, it's a vibration of love that you can only learn through forgiveness. And when you've done this, when you've achieved this, then you've completely brought yourself full circle and you are then able to move on and attract that which is worthwhile for you. And uh, I want to say also that which resonates for you, but I'm saying that uh, from my mind and not from the words that are being given to me for you right now. Um, so what was given to me is what is worthwhile for you. So I feel that that has more significance for you um, at this moment. And part of forgiving uh, allows you to release that which no longer, which you no longer need. Or no longer belongs to you and that might have been trauma or pain or hurt 
that you may have experienced as a result of not having your expectations met or um, because somebody has hurt you for whatever reason. But now it's time to release that. Uh, you've healed. You have come through that and you have actually experienced that and felt the depth of that pain and felt yourself at your very core. You felt the rawness of your vulnerability and it's time to say, it's okay, it's enough, I released this. And to allow yourself to move on, give yourself the permission to actually move on at this moment. And as you do so, it's like springtime, you know, it's like the snow is melting and the sun shines a little warmer and buds begin to shoot up from the ground and there are new beginnings in your life. So this is the springtime of your life, of a new era in your life. And simply feel the warmth as it comes into your life and allow it, allow it to be and recognize that the winter of your life, of your love life, of this era of your life, these last years has come to an end and that you can actually with ease, let go of it with ease. And it is okay to simply release and let go at this moment. And I'm going to leave you with that. That is the message that I have for you right now. Ah, there's one other thing here. You are supported in this. You are held. They've been holding a space for you. You are supported in your movement out of this situation. And you are supported as you stay within the context as well. So uh, if you're feeling like the bells are ringing and it's time to actually move on, then go ahead and give yourself the permission to do so. So I'd like to thank you for those of you who've come by and watched this reading, and I hope that all of this has resonated with you. I'm wishing you a wonderful week ahead, uh, lots of joy and real love in your life. May you make progress with your love life, and uh, may you feel real love in your world. Okay, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.